Standing tall and imposing at 50 meters high, this cauldron at the new Clark City Interlock will be lit for the 30th Southeast Asian Games. But even before it gets ignited, the structure and the team behind its construction is already coming under fire. The cauldron, made of steel and designed by national artist for architecture Bobby Manosa, costs 50 million pesos. This, says Senator Franklin Delon, is just too much. Do you realize that at 1 million per classroom, this can construct 50 classrooms? In other words, we, we, we uh, did away with 50 classrooms in exchange for one caldero. Is this a correct conclusion, Mr. President? The Basis Conversion and Development Authority has clarified that it is a project of the Philippine Sports Commission. Its foundation alone costs 13.4 million pesos, while the PSC spent 32 million pesos for its actual construction. They also have to pay Manosa 4.4 million pesos for his design. Senator Sonny Angara, the budget sponsor, said the structure serves a purpose. I think uh, what the government was really envisioning was to you know, do a really impressive uh, uh, hosting of the games and uh, showcase uh, uh, the Philippine uh, ingenuity uh, by using Philippine creative uh, designers and performers. The good sponsor, good intention as he is, finds difficulty justifying a 50 million caldero. Drilon asked if the design and construction of the cauldron underwent bidding. Senator Sonny Angara says it's the PSC which has an explaining to do. According to BCDA data, facilities alone for the biennial meet already hit 11 billion pesos. According to the BCDA, the 2,000-seater aquatic center costs 2.1 billion pesos. The athletic stadium, which has a 20,000 seating capacity, is valued at 3.36 billion pesos. The athletes' villa is spent at 1.77 billion pesos, while the River Park Corridor Roads and Parks costs 1.24 billion pesos. The facility's maintenance cost is at 188 million pesos yearly. And once the games are done, Drilon urges that a special audit be done on SEA Games expenses. Reporting for News 5, Mea and Los Baños, we are One News.